welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. I super, super, super appreciate it. First things first, if you are new here. First off, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate you. I owe time subscribers. You guys know I love you guys so, 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 so very much. I wanted to make this video bare faced with just some lip gloss. My lip gloss be popping. I'm still um and come to you guys as Rena, as me. This video is all about transparency. I suck at being transparent. I'm not someone who talks about the things that I struggle with or the things that bother me. Only to certain people. These girls ain't loyal. No, they ain't. I wanted to come out and just share that I'm not I am tired of trying to put on a beat face every video because of my own insecurities. I've struggled with not feeling confident unless I had makeup on. And I don't have to have a lot of makeup on. Being on YouTube, being on Instagram, being out there, you are kind of expected to be relatable, but slash pretty much perfect. It just got exhausting trying to always make sure I was beat <laughs> you know, and not wanting to come on camera bare face because of all of the flaws that I have, you know, not wearing makeup. It's got to a point to where I'm, I'm tired. Like, I don't, it is what it is. I sometimes just want to turn a camera on and just get to a video. Like, I don't want to come on here deep face. And really, honestly, it's not always beat face. I don't even wear foundation. I wear concealer under my eyes, and I do like my eyebrows, obviously, because they just real struggle. You know, we all have our hangups, and we all have our issues that we struggle with, and I just want to come out and just be me. Um, so if I'm coming on camera looking like this, don't be alarmed, sis. <laughs> me I know you're so used to seeing me with makeup on eyebrows done I don't really wear lashes like that I have a few videos but it's just not my thing you know y'all see me pretty much made up all the time but your girl is tired and I feel like I should be able to be myself I've seen plenty of youtubers who have come on screen and they showcase their flaws and with this ring light the lights and stuff it just showcases every like every bit of struggle and flaw but we are all flawed you should embrace them and i'm constantly i'm constantly telling people to embrace who they are but yet the girl wasn't doing it herself i mean ain't what? that a blip what you know so i just said it's that's enough some of you guys may be like it's not that deep for me it was deep like it still is i'm not gonna lie just like you might feel more confident with you know your hair pressed instead of curly or you know whatever we all have our hangups so I just want to say, embrace your flaws. If you're like me, maybe it's not makeup, maybe it's something else, but if you are anything like me where you are kind of hung up and been hung up for years over something about your appearance, embrace who you are, okay? I'm taking my own advice because I tell people all the time to love who you are naturally, and I want to do that. I want to, you know, I just, I want to do that. And I hope y'all love me for me and you ain't worried about my flaws. Okay, thank you. I do want to do my makeup on this video. So I figured, shoot, why not just combine the insecurity with putting on the makeup? It'll make no sense. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. I know it doesn't, but this is what we gonna do, because we, you know, we, this is what we gonna do. So I'm all about generic, um, things i really don't care y'all if it is name brand or not this works excellent i really love that it's really really good at moisturizing and then i head on over to the brows okay so i usually don't use black allow me to explain but i cannot find my brown so we're gonna go ahead and use black okay you can still rock black eyebrows okay oh no 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 It is harsh, but you can do it. What I do is I just, just hair-like strokes, um, and I create my shape. And I'm just going very, very soft because it is black, and I might add a little pressure on the wing area just to, you know, emphasize my wing because I don't really have a wing like that. See? Barely. Bam. 
It looks like it's brown, girl, but it's not. I'm crying, you know. They don't have to be sisters, okay? They could be cousins. They could be cousins. Most of my stuff, y'all, from Beauty Supply. So this is the perfect brow duo pencil. Can't find the top, so don't judge. But I have this in dark brown as well as in black. So this is when the magic happens. I get my LA Girl Pro Conceal. That's what I use for my under eye. Look at that brow. Look at that brow. Kinda messed that one up a little bit. I messed that one up just a little bit. Can you believe that's black? Like, this is black. Like, I like to use this RK, I think, by KISS, C and C. Um, and I use this for under my eyes, the color chocolate brown. So the top came off because it's cheap. Concealer does wonders. I don't really wear foundation. That's like my foundation. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take the um, LA Girl again and I place it under my eyes. And then just a little bit on my forehead and just the highlight areas. I let it set. With my hands up, call it work. Yeah, I know it's real. Yeah, I know it's real. And I ain't got a question now, then I use my Sacha Buttercup setting powder. I love, 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 love this stuff. It's excellent. Excellent at setting my concealer. It's like the only thing I will spend money on um, makeup wise because everything else on my lips, it works just fine. You know, it works just fine, okay? Because here's the deal, okay? Here, here is the deal. This is a $20 beauty blender. I've had this for probably like a month and it's already getting raggedy. And when I bought an off-brand one, that thing lasted like so long and it blended just fine. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't be buying stuff. I don't be buying stuff like that, okay? So we almost done, I went over. So I'm just putting on this powder. This is my Kiss Mineral Powder. Like, y'all, this is on some beauty supply. I'm run, it works just fine. Honey brown, okay? Honey brown. And I'm just obviously setting my face, trying to get my face a little bit more color. And then sometimes I will take the um, powder and I would just dust some on my eyelid and what that just does it just gives my eyes like some color and yeah like eyeshadow but I like for it to look kind of matte so I just take my hear me listen okay I take the same powder but in a different darker color this is ebony and I will try to make my face like look like I lost just a little bit of weight, just a little bit, just a little bit, you know, just just a little bit. I go, you know, and you know, I get my little, you know, my little contours going on. This canvas that Jesus himself gave onto me, Halle. Jesus, thank you for my, for my canvas, but you know, I be minimizing it sometimes, Lord. Work on me, Jesus. I don't do my nose, but you know, since I'm on camera, there you go. Yeah, let me take some. Um, but yeah, just slight little powder to make, you know, to cinch my cheeks in just a little bit. Okay. So what I've been doing lately is a lot of my molds get covered up. So I like to kind of bring out this one right here. And I'll take um, just a liquid eyeliner. This is by NYX. And I'll just go over the one that really kind of stands out. Um, like, 
I like 3D. And this is my favorite one right here. Like, I gotta keep this one. I hope it never falls off. If y'all have skin tags or molds, you know that your stuff can literally like just fall off. Tone on, can't talk about it. So I like to kind of emphasize that one because it's my favorite one. Just to kind of emphasize, you know, what was covered up. It doesn't really work like that. <laughs> but it does help kind of bring them back to life a little bit. So I have to go ahead and take my setting spray, which is Make It Last from Milani's. I really like this, um, you know, just spritz it on just a little bit. <coughs> so I love the Big Colossal by um, Maybelline, um, by Makeup by Shayla. Just go ahead and do my eyelashes. And I'm like a stickler for eyelashes um, because I don't like to wear falsies. I, like I said, I've done it in like the last few videos just for like, you know, just an extra pizzazz for the video. I will spend minutes upon minutes doing my eyelashes. But I like to play up the um, corners and to like really wing them out to really like play on the shape of my eye. Cause let's face it, although, you know, we do have the things that we don't like about ourselves, we do have things that we do like about ourselves. And I like my eye shape, you know? It's real slanted or whatever. And then if you've been with me for some time, Tom, then you know that I just take a mascara for my eyebrows and I just grab the hairs. And I like to use a set of eyebrow gel. Um, I feel like it just really thickens up your brows. I got this um, trick actually a long time ago from um, Alyssa Forever on YouTube. And ever since she did it, I was like, why, why, why? you know what I mean? And you know, I had to go ahead and try it. If you do have like thin eyebrows like me, or whatever, you just want a more defined brow, definitely try that. I have a love-hate relationship with highlights because I do have molds and skin tags. It really emphasizes it. So on, <laughs> On camera or on Instagram, it looks like it's acne, but y'all, it's just highlight over some chocolate chips. That's all it is, okay? I'll take my Wet n Wild highlight. I like it, it's cute, it gets the job done. <laughs> I take my e.l.f. brush and I try to go around my mold, but sometimes I just don't care. <laughs> and then I do it on the bridge and the tip of my nose. And then whatever is left over, I will go on my forehead just to give myself a little bit more of a glow. Um, but yeah. And then that's it. You know what I'm saying? It's no problem liking to wear makeup. And just because somebody wears makeup, it does not mean that they have an insecurity. But girls that don't wear makeup, the ones who like, I don't need no makeup. I and you be thinking like, And they would shade girls that wore makeup and it's like why why are we doing this like you don't know somebody's issue let folks be folks let people be people you know what i'm saying you don't always have to shade everybody for their choices hopefully you guys understood where i was coming from in this video hopefully it may have been helpful i don't buy expensive makeup that's just not who I am. I'd rather spend my money on some shoes, you know what I'm saying? Or some clothes, or some food. Ain't mine, ain't mine, ain't mine. Let's work on loving ourselves. You know, it's okay, obviously, to rock your makeup, because y'all, I'm still gonna be like this in, in my videos, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You kind of got to see how I put my makeup on. It's nothing Jackie Ina-ish. I'm sorry, I just, I'm not there yet. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful, I hope you guys like the video if you did go ahead and give me a like i would really really appreciate it if you have not subscribed and you made it this far and i helped you or you laughed one or the other or you use some la conceal whatever you need to be a part of the fam bam so go ahead and click the button to subscribe to this channel i would love to have you part of the fam bam we have fun over here we have a blast we cry we laugh we say in mind we catch the holy oh woo. we catch the holy Mm. Okay, we don't catch the Holy Ghost. Love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in my next video. See y'all later. Bye.